and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Today we've got a quick and easy one. Uh, we're going to show you how to do more realistic drop shadows. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've got this uh, picture here of an atlas. Uh, and I've got a picture of a hot air balloon. And I thought, why not? That would be kind of cool to... Uh, have the hot air balloon floating all across the United States like that. So let's see if we can do. All right, so first thing I need to isolate the balloon uh, from the background. So I'm going to use Select Subject. And uh, looks good enough to me, so I'm going to go ahead and edit Copy. And I'm going to go right into the Atlas and go, uh, edit paste and uh, I tell you Photoshop has really done a really good job with their selection tools over the past year all right so now I'm gonna just move this here and I'm going to command T and to transform it and I'm gonna size it to where it looks a little better Uh, maybe about there. Okay. All right. So now we have that. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to make a uh, a drop shadow onto the uh, map. But I want to may, may have control over it, make it more realistic. Um, because if I were to turn around and just use the built-in... Uh, drop shadow effect you can see that uh, there and uh, that's just not uh, not conducive to what we're we're asking for okay so we're going to cancel that and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer control or command J now I have two of these and I'm just going to move one right here. And again, Command or Control T to free transform. And I want to rotate this in the approximate direction of how I'm going to have the balloon move. So that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now... I need to work on this and turn this into a shadow. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go up to layer and then, I'm sorry, image and adjust and desaturate. That takes out the color. Okay, so our shadow should be strictly on a black and white. Uh, and now we have to uh, do an adjustment for levels and I'm going to pull the slider output all the way over until I have a black okay and so now I have my my black shadow and now what I need to do is I need to uh, blur it because remember the balloon is moving ever so slightly and uh, so and I'm gonna say that looks pretty good right there, 33 pixels. And so now I come in and look here, okay, definitely too harsh. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity. And again, this is to taste. Let's see how we like it. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's say it's a little too light. Okay, 
And now let's see what else is concerning on it. On the original balloon, uh, we have a brightness issue. So I'm going to put a curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to make it a clipping mask. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop the brightness down. I think that's pretty good. And yeah, you know, I'm just not I'm not loving the the shadow. I'm just playing the opacity till I like what I see. Okay. So that's not looking too bad. And so now we've got the, the balloon and that, and let's bring it all together, okay? And what I like to bring together, I use a color lookup table. Uh, select that, and I can go through the different ones, but I think I already know I want to do a late sunset. Okay. And now I'm going to drop the opacity of that and it's going to bring everything together okay and I think that looks pretty good okay there we are quick and easy uh, so hopefully you found this useful and until next week you guys take care